Hi friends, this is Mohammed Shakil here and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can design knuckle joint using the part design, assembly design and wireframe and surface design workbench. So what you can see on the right side is the completed design of the knuckle joint and on the left side the different views which are required to do the design. So I'll just open up a new file here and I'll, we're going to design the collar over here. So I'll just name it as collar hyphen knuckle joint alright now I'm gonna create this two circles here concentric circles make sure they're concentric just give a diameter of 25 and 40 just come out of the sketch and do a padding of say a 12 okay and you can see that there is a small uh, hole over here which is made for the taper pin so it's given that the taper is of 1 is to 50 so the diameter over here is 5.5 and the total height over here is 40 so what must be the diameter down? That's what you need to find out. So if it's 1 is to 50, what you can do is uh, firstly just go ahead and uh, create the 1 is to 50 hole there. So I'll just select this plane, give a plane, create a plane over here, somewhere over here. and just select the plane, give sketch and create a hole at a diameter of 5.5 and what you can really do is you can project it, come to wireframe and surface design workbench and use the projection uh, select along a direction the profile, this is the support and this is the direction okay I just hide this off use this and then just leave it as such and hide this and over here you need to find out what must be the uh, uh, diameter over here so I'll just select the notepad and one the taper is 1, 1 is to 50. So for 50 units, it's 1. So for 1 unit, 1 unit, it's 1 by 50. So for this distance is 40. So for 40 units, it's 40 by 50. That must be 4 by 5. So what is 4 by 5? 4 by 5 is 0.8. So it is 0.8 units. So there is an increment of four, uh, 0 0.8 units to this 5.5 .5. so 5.5 .5, uh, that's the dia below the ring is 5.5 .5 plus 0 0.8 that must be 5.5 .5 plus 0 0.8 is 6.3 so the di diameter below is 6.3 so what you can really do is just select this create a plane reverse direction and create the circle there 
of 6.3 diameter and that's uh, that must be uh, at a distance of say 6 come out of the sketch make sure that same 6 was given here too when you were creating that you haven't so just give 6 here that's the best part about uh, you know the designing softwares you can always change it whenever you want and even the projection will get affected so when I change that uh, distance the projection also changed and uh, it's uh, located in the new place there so alright I did a mistake actually you're not supposed to increase you're supposed to decrease this minus 0.8 so just go for 5.5 .5 minus 0 0.8 is 4.7 so just give a 4.7 there that's 4.7 I apologize for the inconvenience okay now what you gotta do is do the same thing you have done before projection along a direction right this is the support and this is the direction just click on the preview and that's it now what you want to do is let's select uh, the multi section 1 and 2 and then come to the part design insert surface base feature split and select this just hide this off and that's it and just select these two lines there and you got the exact design which you were looking for so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any doubts clarifications you can always uh, comment on my video and uh, you can also write to me at getia.pro.user c-a-t-i-a.pro.user at gmail.com and I'll be getting in touch with you as soon as possible that's all for this particular part keep watching thank you so much